Hey guys, so today is on a Tuesday and right now it's 5 p.m. and it's so cold. So today has been a tough day for me. That's why my eyes are swollen because I have been crying a lot. Because you know, tomorrow me and my cousins are traveling to the village to attend grandma's burial and it's two more days until her burial because she'll be buried on Friday 16th. You know, the reality is hitting me that she's no more. We are going to lay her to rest. I'm never going to see her again. So I've been, I've, I've really had an emotional day. So um, this is going to be a heavy journey. Another heavy journey that I had was when I went to see my grandma uh, about four weeks ago. And when I was traveling that day, she was not doing okay. But I didn't know that I was going to visit her for the last time and a day later she died. So that journey was difficult for me. But now this one is more difficult because I'm, like, I'm going to see her for the first time since she passed on. <sighs> and that kind of scares me, you know. I've been in kind, somehow denial. And the last time I saw her she was alive although she was very very sick. She was in a bad condition, but now this time I'm going to see her lifeless body and I'm, not, I'm now going to believe that she's no more. So this is going to be a tough journey for me. So I'm supposed to travel with my cousins, the ones, the ones I picked from the airport the other day. Will it be our previous video? Yeah, from our previous video. I showed you that video already. Right now I want to go home and and uh, sleep early because we plan to depart from Nairobi to my village at around 10 10 a.m. yeah so that we can we can get there early and it's a rainy season also so if we want to get there early <laughs> I forgot my handkerchief I was using a uh, serviette I have been crying a lot today but it's a process of healing so for me by the way I never like whenever I want to cry, I just cry. I never like to keep my feelings inside. I just like to let them out that way I can heal faster. So guys, I think I will see you tomorrow uh, when I meet my cousins and uh, we will be on our way to the village. guys thank you so much for tuning in to our video today so um now the journey that i was scared of the most is here i'm actually on my way to the village right now today is on wednesday yes and i'm traveling to the village because we are grandma's send-off will be on friday 16th so now we are going for i'm going for that actually in our last video i took you guys with me to the airport to reunite with my family members who are who had come to Kenya from abroad uh, for the same reason and actually I'm traveling with them my cousin is the driver and my other cousin is at the back we are the three of us but the rest of my family members are some are, are already in the village others are on their way to the village so when I get to the village I'll get to meet so many there are so many people there I will meet some family members whom I don't even know like this will be the first time meeting them and some family members whom I've not seen for so many years there will be a lot of things going on in the village I'll try to capture as much as I can for you guys and <clears throat> I took my leave days yesterday so my leave day officially starts today up to Saturday so I'm on a four days four days leave a quick stop here to get some snacks and also bathroom breaks and also for our driver to rest a bit because it's a long long journey see you will nini why yeah it's a long journey so and i don't know why my my ears are blocked i want to get dawa tea ginger lemon honey i don't know where they're selling it let me ask we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold, and we don't know any way. Out of here, we try to understand how it all started to go wrong. But the sea is way too deep.
it's 5 5 10 p.m. right now we are at a mall to just uh, you know relax a bit rest a bit we are tired I don't know why my ears today they keep on blocking and this place is cold by day it's so so cold so are you buying anything from the supermarket uh, so maybe we'll just get drink and then bathroom breaks and then we continue my cold I mean this cold is I, is it a cold or a flu? I have a flu and I, I don't even know if you can hear me. <clears throat> I'm struggling, I'm straining today, but at least now I feel better. <laughs> we are going nowhere. <laughs> we are just walking, guys. Yes, I'm thinking of going to Java and get another Dawa drink because it will help me. You know, in Kenya right now, we are approaching the cold season. July is always the cold season in in Kenya so I think the weather changes is what has caused flu because I'm not the only one who has a flu uh, apparently there's a flu outbreak in Kenya right now I was calling my family my family members who are already in the village they're telling me most of them are sick so yeah we get some capsules yeah we can buy in the pharmacy yes let's go into a, the, this pharmacy and get some some capsules we are from this pharmacy uh, she was buying some antihistamines so that we don't uh, so that she doesn't catch the cold also because everyone seems to be having a cold right now yeah but let me see if I can go to Java and get the drink I was telling you about to soothe my throat like even I'm straining to talk right now you are done guys so we have bought our drink from Java the dawa drink that I've been telling you about. We need this especially because it's cold and I'm also sick. It really helps to soothe my throat. Let me show you. Hold on. Yes, I love it. So far so good. We thank God for the far he has taken us. And um, although we are sad, but we have to take everything as it comes. And... I can't wait to get to the village. I'm a bit scared to go there. They already prepared grandma's grave, so I'm really scared to see that. And it's raining a lot. It's a rainy season. Uh, but uh, when I get there, I will show you everything, uh, all the preparations in the village. Like, I will take you through everything. Yeah. I'm really scared to see the grave, because now it, like, reality will hit me that she's no more. It's true she died. Like. I don't know. But this is my outfit today. I'm wearing a, a dangari. <laughs> yes. Thank you. My auntie just told me that the weather in the village is so bad. It's raining all the time. You know, we can't tell God what to do. We just request God that on Friday, on Grandma's burial day, the, uh, it won't rain and uh, it will be sunny or at least if not sunny uh, cloudy and not and it, sh it shouldn't rain on that day it will spoil the whole event but all in all we'll thank God for everything if it rains it's okay if it won't rain it's the better for us so um, yeah wish us a, a safe journey we will get there very very late so if I don't uh, make if I don't show you guys, if I don't tell you guys that you have arrived today, I will update you guys tomorrow and tell you how everything is going and all the plans and the videos that we are looking forward to. Yes. It's 7 p.m. right now. We have not yet arrived. I'm falling sick. I don't know why I'm falling sick at this point. You see, when my eyes are red, I feel like I have fever. But I have taken some cold cups and uh, some paracetamol. Yeah, so we are going to rest now because I'm not able to make videos when we arrive because it will be dark. And as I told you, yeah, they already uh, prepared the grave. I'm even scared to see that. Oh my god, I feel so bad. So I think I will just show you how the grave looks like in the morning. And uh, they have already been set up tents. And I will show you how everything looks like. Like 
because there will be so many changes without grandma you know there are so many changes and it's i've been told that it's so well, apart from a lot of people coming to give us their condolences condolences and support uh without grandma it's so different you know it's very very different it's lonely you know we have lost we have lost a big uh a very important person in our family this is a big loss for us yeah so uh, i will update this i will update you guys tomorrow morning and show you everything in in good lighting yes but for now i just want to get there i hope i won't be too overwhelmed oh my god i hope i won't be too overwhelmed and cry but i'll show you everything tomorrow morning yes thank you so much the next day this is the next day and what you see there is grandma's grave which has already been prepared so it was covered because of the rain and also to prevent people or any animal from falling in the first time i saw this grave my heart really sank and reality hit me that grandma was really gone also there were so many changes in the compound to create space for the many visitors that were coming and also for tents but I forgot to vlog all that because I was overwhelmed with emotions I was crying I was stressed and I couldn't vlog in that state but in our next video I'll show you guys how the whole compound was looking like and all the arrangements that had been made for our grandma's send off up to this point thank you so much for watching this video and i'm looking forward to see you in our next video god bless you guys